Put that cookie down now! Christmas, Christmas time is near. Time for toys and time for cheer. We've been good, but we can't last. Hurry, Christmas, hurry fast. Want the plane that loops the loop. Me, I want a hula hoop. We can hardly stand the wait. Please, Christmas, don't be late. Ow! Son of a nutcracker! What's going on on my YouTube videos? I'm Jacob, and welcome to day 21 in my 21 Days of Christmas series. And in today's video, I'll be taking a look at the 1969 Rankin Bass Christmas Special, Frosty the Snowman. A discarded silk top hat becomes the focus of a struggle between a washed up stage magician and a group of school children after it magically brings a snowman to life. Realizing that the newly living Frosty will melt in spring unless he takes refuge in a colder climate, Frosty and Karen, a young girl whom he befriends, stow away on a freight train headed for the North Pole. So Frosty the Snowman originally aired in 1969 and this has become one of Rankin Bass' most beloved Christmas specials alongside Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, The Year Without a Santa Claus, and many others. This, of course, is based, like with Rudolph, on the classic Christmas song of the same name. The special was narrated by Jimmy Durante, a famous character actor from that time, most famous for his unusually large nose. This was one of the last things Durante did in his career before he passed away. And it stars Jackie Vernon as the title character of Frosty the Snowman. This, much like a lot of the other Rankin Bass specials, are Christmas specials that I watched regularly as a kid. This one I've always enjoyed, much like with Rudolph and Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And I think it's another one that still holds up incredibly well. Now, I'm not as big a fan of Rankin Bass's 2D animated works. I have a greater respect for their stop motion works. That's why Rudolph is especially is my favorite of Rankin Bass's Christmas specials. My biggest negative that I had against Cricket on the Hearth, which I reviewed previously in my 31 Days of Christmas series, was how inconsistent in quality the 2D animation was. A lot of it definitely was on the cheap, and I felt like they were more experimental and innovative with their stop motion works which a lot of them as clunky as they look still are a master sight to see. I feel like Frosty is the rare exception while yeah even though there are shots in Frosty that do feel cheaply made I think there's still a charm to the animation in Frosty the Snowman. I think the world of Frosty I think is still magical. I like the character designs especially on Frosty and Jimmy Durante's character, which looks like the spitting image of the real actor. I do like the characters in Frosty the Snowman. Frosty is such a lovable character with a charming personality who's very easy to enjoy. I do like the voice work in Frosty the Snowman. Uh, June Foray was a well-known voice actress at that time who voiced several characters in this special such as the teacher at the beginning and also Karen the little girl in the film and we get to hear a lot of Paul Freeze as well who is a Rankin Bass regular who voiced characters such as the traffic cop who is mentioned in the song Stop! 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 Alright, didn't you see that traffic light? What's a traffic light? Up there on the lamppost! What's a lamppost? And also Santa Claus at the very end. We also have Professor Hinkle, the evil magician, who is after Frosty the whole time because the top hat that landed on Frosty that brought him to life was his hat originally, and he wants it back, thinking that the magic hat can be used for his own purposes. And Professor Hinkle is one of the more hilariously over-the-top villains in a Rankin-Bass special, along with the Burgermeister and Santa Claus is Coming to Town, a special I'll be reviewing very soon on this series. 
He is hilariously over the top in this Christmas special. It's hard not to love how ridiculous the character actually is. I must get that hat back. Think nasty. Think nasty. Think nasty. <laughs> also, who named your rabbit Hocus Pocus? But whatever, he's still a fun character. Uh, of course, the Frosty the Snowman song is used sporadically throughout the special. It's the only song in Frosty the Snowman, which is kind of a rarity because one of my criticisms of Rankin Bass specials is sometimes they overdo it on songs and quite a few of their songs can be on the forgettable side. But here they use Frosty at just the right amounts of time during the special and I think it works. It works to tell a story. It works in some of the more emotional moments, like the infamous moment where you're meant to believe that Frosty melted to death. Ah, spoiler alert, but it's a classic special. I think most people know the scene. And it's a scene that's made many children cry for many years, including my mom. Yet it all builds up to something wonderful at the very end, and the song was executed in all the best ways. In fact, Durante's version is still one of my favorite versions of the classic song to this very day. Even though Frosty is not as profound in its messages as like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer did, it still has this childlike wonder and magic that to where even though I don't resonate with it as much as Rudolph, I still am invested in the story. I think the special for a 30 minute short is very entertaining to watch. I think Frosty's a likable character. I think Professor Hinkle's a fun villain. I enjoyed the overall banter between the two characters. The song, of course, is iconic. The special is iconic. The 2D animation, though not the best, is still good for the limited budget Rankin Bass had. It's definitely a better looking special than Cricket on the Hearth. And I think overall it's really good, even though you can poke fun of certain plot holes along the way. Like, why did they leave Karen on the roof at the very end when there's no chimney? Like, that always bothered me. Even as a kid. That was a very bizarre thing. It always bugged me. But whatever. It's still an awesome Christmas special. And one of the finest that Rankin Bass has ever had to offer. I'm definitely a fan of Frosty the Snowman. Easily the best 2D animated Christmas special Rankin Bass ever made. And at the end of the day. Even with its faults. I'm still giving Frosty the Snowman a 5 out of 5 stars. So I hope you enjoyed my video on Frosty the Snowman. It's part of my 31 Days of Christmas series. I'll leave a link in the description below for a playlist. Where you can check out all the other 31 Days of Christmas videos I've done. Including previous Rankin Bass reviews. Such as Rudolph, Cricket on the Hearth, and The Little Drummer Boy. I got more Christmas videos coming your way all the way to Christmas Day. And if you've seen Frosty the Snowman, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this Christmas special. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. This is your first video. I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!